The video is hard to watch. An elderly man recovering from a stroke slapped by a home health care aide. And that's not all. The man's family plans to sue. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has the story new tonight at 6. Watch as this Queen's homemade violently slams down the paralyzed arm of the man he's supposed to be caring for back in early April. Then he aggressively wipes the man's face with a napkin. In another clip, the aide grabs the man's nose and shakes it hard. A third clip shows the aide tapping his head and yelling at him. It was heartbreaking. It was traumatizing. It was shocking. Gabrielle Murakovsky says her 78 year old grandfather, Bencion, suffered a stroke two years ago and has Parkinson's. After the first homemade from Personal Touch Home Care Agency didn't work out, they went through several others. Then they found Igor Krutovsky, who seemed like a good match. He's the same from the same part of Russia as my grandparents. He came in as a you know, a friendly person. He's young, he's masculine. But after just a few days with the new aide, she came home one day in April and saw that her grandfather was shaking and had some marks on his body. So she turned to the tape. The home aide knew he was being filmed. The camera is right up there in the corner. So the family says prior to the incident, he went behind the television, unplugged some cables, thinking he was disabling the system, not knowing the camera works off of Bluetooth, and he was still being filmed. Murakovsky confronted the aide when he showed up for work the next day and says he showed no remorse. I looked at him and I was like, is everything okay? He's like, yeah. He said, did, did you do something? No. They went to police and 38-year-old Igor Krotovsky was arrested. Now the Murakovsky family is suing the agency and Igor. To make sure they change their practices and properly train and qualify their workers. I really, really sincerely hope that no other family will ever have to see this or for it to happen to them. Because they say a man already in pain shouldn't be forced to suffer even more. In Rigo Park, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Murakovsky says her grandfather is now in the hospital being treated for pneumonia. The home care agency had no comment.